this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Welcome to Beginning Algebra. And don't forget that B stands for Big Time. Anyway, some of you are taking this class at home, some of you are taking it online, and some of you are in the classroom. Now, for those of you that are taking it at home, you've had to have signed up for the live video feed presentations. Now, what that means is that I can randomly check up on you and make sure you're paying attention. So, if I uh, go over there and check up on you and you're not paying attention, well, you're going to be in some serious trouble. So, let me get my little magical tool here. And I'm going to go ahead and pick someone randomly from my roster here. So, here we go. Let's see. Who's this guy, Charlie? Hmm. He better be paying attention. Charlie! Hmm. Oh. Charlie! Oh. This is Mr. Perez from Saddleback College. What? Well, are you tired? Can what? I get you a cup of coffee? Huh? How about a cappuccino? How about an espresso? Now, what are you doing? Well, take out a piece of paper and a pencil and get ready to go. Now, and by the way, what are you doing in this class? Did you pass pre-algebra? Yeah. Oh, you did, huh? Well, I don't remember. What did you get? I got an A. Well, that's good. How did that make you feel? Pretty good, man. I was bad. All right, Charlie, quit the show, buddy. What? Sit down. What? Get up that piece of paper and start paying attention. So, we got to get to work. Anyway, class. Now, fractions are not covered in beginning algebra. They are introduced in pre-algebra, so I recommend you go back and watch the uh, pre-algebra videos on fractions should you have forgotten how to work with fractions. So, we're getting ready to go. So, let's go up and list our first problem right there. 2b over a minus 9b over a. Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah, you better be. Okay, Charlie, so now, these fractions are considered to be like terms because why, Charlie? Because denominators are the same. same. Denominators are the same. So, it's like doing 2 subtract 9. 2 subtract 9 is negative 7. Okay? And so, 2 b's take away 9 b's gives you what, Charlie? Negative 7 b. Negative 7 b. So, let me write out my steps here in case you forgot. Now, notice here, we have 2b minus 9b over a. The fraction stays, the denominator, I'm sorry, stays as an a. And 2b subtract 9b is a negative 7b over a. And remember, we can write our answer as negative 7b over a, just like it is right there. And don't forget to box your answer. So let's go on to the next problem. In this problem now, up there, we are dividing with fractions. Now, Charlie, what do we do when we're dividing fractions? Multiply. Change it to multiplication, and then don't forget we take the reciprocal of the uh, 11 6 and it becomes 6 11. You do not change the first fraction. I know a lot of you guys are doing that on your uh, quizzes. So, anyway, now we don't want to multiply. Remember, when you multiply fractions, you go straight across the top and straight across the bottom. But we want to reduce the first. So, Charlie, what happens to those 11s? They cancel. That's right, they cancel and they become what? Ones. Ones. Very good. And the 6 over 2, cancel. Three they over. become 3 over 1. That's good. And so you're left with what on top? 3. And on the bottom, 1. There you go. 3 over 1. And so what's our answer, Charlie? 3. 3. Don't forget to circle your answer or box it. Okay. Let's go on to our next problem. Now, don't get scared. A over 4 times 3 over B divided by 3 fourths. Okay, Charlie, what do we do first? What does the order of operations say to do? Multiplication. Okay, multiplication and divisions we do at the same time working left to right. So we must do that multiplication first. And so, Charlie, how do we do multiply fractions? Straight, straight across, across the top, top and straight, straight across, across the bottom. Very good. So, now, Charlie, what's A times 3? Okay. 3A. Three 3A. Three okay. Now, we just write it as 3a. You can, we don't really write a3. We normally write the numbers first. Those are called the coefficients. We'll talk more about that later. So, a times 3 we write as 3a, and 4 times b is 4b. Now, Charlie, it's being divided by 3 fourths. And so, what do we do when we're dividing with a fraction? Multiply. Change it to multiplication and multiply by the reciprocal, yes. So, 3a over 4b divided by 3 fourths is 3a over 4b times 4 over 3. Very good. Now, Charlie, what cancels? 3. 
the three is very good. And also the fours. Fours, that's right. They all become ones there. And so, Charlie, what are we left with on top? One A. On the bottom, one B. A B, so your answer is A over B. Don't forget to circle your answer there. Very good. Moving on. Here now, we have three fourths divided by one half divided by five fourths. Okay, Charlie, we have, must always work left to right here. So we're first going to deal with the three fourths divided by one half, and we're going to change the division to what? Multiplication. Multiplication. So let me show you the step here. Notice, we now have three fourths times two over one. Okay. Notice we left the five fourths alone. We'll deal with that after we do this multiplication we now have. Okay. Now, Charlie, we have three fourths times two over one. Okay. What do we do? We want to do that. Okay. Yeah. We can go ahead and do it right now, but we're going to hold off on that. What we're going to do now is we're going to work, change that other division down there into a multiplication. We can do that. We might as well get it over with. So, instead of the dividing by five fourths, we have what, Charlie? Times four fifths. Times four fifths. So, see. What we did here is we took care of all our divisions, we switched them to multiplications, and notice as we switched, we used reciprocals there. So, okay, there we go. So now it's all being multiplied. So remember, multiplication straight across the top and straight across the bottom, but we always want to check to see if we can reduce. Now, Charlie, anything reduce here? The fours. That's right. The fours will cancel, leaving you with one over one. Now, what's on top, Charlie? Six. And on the bottom is a five. Five. So your answer is six fifths. Very nice there, Charlie. Okay. Let's continue on. Here's a problem up here. Negative three fourths times fourteen over four. Very straightforward, Charlie. We're three not going to multiply, we're going to reduce. So Charlie, what reduces here? The fourteen over four. That's right, the fourteen over four, very good. And what does a fourteen become? Seven. And the 4 becomes a 2. 2, because you're dividing top and the bottom by a 2. Very nice. And so, Charlie, what's on top here now? 21. And on the bottom, 8. That's right, giving us negative 21 over 8. And don't forget to circle your answer there. Okay, let's go to the next problem. 3 halves cubed subtract 1 eighth. Okay. Now, Charlie, what's 3 halves cubed mean? Three halves times three halves times three halves. That's right. Three halves times three halves times three halves. Now, how do you multiply three halves times three halves times three halves? Straight, straight across, across the top. top. Straight across straight the bottom. Above. Giving you what, Charlie? 27 eighths. 27 over eight. Now, 27 over eight. Subtract one eighth. Charlie, what's 27 apples? Take away one of your apples. 26 apples. 26 apples. Very good. So, 27 eighths. Take away one eighth does give you what, Charlie? 26 eighths. 26 eighths. Very good. So now here, Charlie, we're going to reduce. We can divide the top and the bottom here by what number, Charlie? Two. Okay, two. Okay. So we'll reduce. The top will become a what, Charlie? 13. And the bottom will become a four. Four. That's right. So our answer is 13 over, 13 four. over four. And don't forget to box your answer there. Very good. Okay. So let's go.